Let's play a game. Pick a numbered door, one, two, or three. One of these doors is a winner. There's a big prize behind it if you select it. However, behind the other two doors is nothing. You don't know which door has the prize behind it, but I do. For argument's sake, let's say you select door number one, hoping for the prize. Before I let you know if you've won or not, I'm going to show you what would happen if you selected door number two. Turns out door number two was a loser. There wasn't anything behind it. That doesn't matter though because you chose door number one. Now I'll pose the question. Would you like to switch doors? Do you want to trade door number one for door number three? On the surface, it doesn't really seem like it should matter. When you first selected your door, there was only a one-third chance you selected correct. And now that you know one of the doors that didn't have the prize, there's still only a 50-50 shot between which door has the prize. Right? I mean, you still don't know where the prize is. There doesn't seem to be any intuitive reason why switching your choice at this point would benefit you at all. The obvious answer to the question, should you switch doors, is it doesn't matter. However, that line of reasoning is very flawed. And I'll prove to you that in this situation, it's always better to switch your choice after a wrong door has been revealed. How can that possibly be? Here's one solution to the famous Monty Hall problem. I'll admit it's not entirely satisfying to everyone. Nonetheless, it completely proves that switching doors is always in your best interest to do so. Let's look at each possible scenario, beginning at the door you select. Number one, there are three possible places for the prize. Behind door number one, behind door number two, or behind door number three. If the prize is behind door number one, there's nothing behind door numbers two or three. If the prize is behind door number two, nothing is behind one or three. And finally, if the prize is behind door number three, nothing is behind one or two. The way the game works is that I know where the prize is and I will always reveal to you one of the options you didn't choose that also didn't have the prize. So if you choose door number one when the prize is behind door number one, and also choose to switch doors, you'll receive nothing. But if you choose door number one, when the prize was not behind door number one, that is either of the two other scenarios, choosing to switch doors will give you the prize. When we look at every possible situation, the act of switching gives you the prize in two out of three of those situations. Another way of saying that is your probability of winning is two-thirds, 66% when you switch, not 50% like it might appear on the surface. And this might make no intuitive sense. How could switching doors ever give you an additional chance of winning, even when you never knew where the prize was in the first place? The subtlety lies in the simple fact that we were given more information after the start of the game. Me, the host, didn't open a losing door at random. Knowing that there were two losers, learning where one of them is gives us additional information and updates our probabilities. Here's a more extreme example to drive this point home. Place the numbers 1 to 1000 on pieces of paper inside a hat. You pick one number out of the hat without looking and you win a prize if you drew the number 999. Before you look at the number, I'm going to show you every other number you didn't draw except for one of them. And none of the numbers I reveal is 999. In other words, you either drew the winning number 999 or the number I didn't reveal is 999. Would you like to trade the number you drew from the hat with the number I didn't reveal? And in this situation, do your chances of winning really feel like 50-50? Or does it seem way more likely you drew the wrong number and 999 was left in the hat? I think in this case, your intuition would be to switch. It seems much more likely you didn't draw the winning number 
and would almost certainly be better by switching. Of course, this is in fact the case and the best strategy for the same reasons as the Monty Hall problem. This is just on a larger scale. This problem makes you think about what other probability brain twisters are out there. If you like those kind of things, click the video on the screen. This is one of my favorite mind benders. I'll see you in that one.